the beginning of my career is actually in archaeological sciences. And so I was always interested in forensics, uh, human evolution, and of course bones are a big part of that pursuit. And I increasingly got drawn into imaging-based sciences during my PhD, start chasing questions in anthropology, they become medical questions before you know it. I was using conventional lab-based techniques and, and um, pursuing the study of bone and a resolution that was already quite exceptional. And uh, colleagues of mine in Australia began sending me images from a synchrotron and uh, I was kind of blown away. And so again, when the physician arrived in the University of Saskatchewan with a synchrotron on campus, I was very, very willing and wanting to, to drive that technology here. The, the one area that's particularly exciting at Beamit is, is in the area of live animal imaging. The, the facility is quite unique, uh, possibly unique within the hemisphere and, and one of a handful in the world that really has capabilities to do things in living animals that are very difficult at other synchrotrons. And a great deal of our effort is being shifted towards live animal imaging. The synchrotron represents a unique resource in Canada and I think it, it intrigues students and it draws students, students that want to be at the cutting edge of science in this area. The synchrotron is a game changer, really putting us on also an international scale. 